Time now for the men's 400-meter final. The world and American records held by Butch Reynolds set on this track eight years ago. And Roger Black of Great Britain, the silver medalist from Atlanta, is in this field. He ran a personal best to win that silver medal, and he's probably very happy because he says no one can beat Michael Johnson at 400 meters. He's an honest man. <laughs> He lives actually in Irvine, California. Uh, Sven Newlander trains with him there, and, and uh, they get the good weather of Southern California year-round. Three Brits in this final, and three Americans, three of the Americans from the gold medal winning 4x400 relay. Maybanks in five. In six is Mills, seven is Smith. And many would say that Antoine Maybank in lane five on Roger Black's outside is the man to watch in this race. has been running better and better throughout the season. He anchored the winning 4x400 relay for the U.S. And he is out like a shot, Larry, making up the stagger on Derek Mills. It is definitely the power and strength on the backstretch of Antoine Maybank. He's got the lead. Let's see if he dies down the home stretch. Very fast first 200 meters, Dwight. Coach John Smith at UCLA, who has taken this young man under his wing, says watch out for this guy in a couple of years. Maybe a couple of years is now. Antoine Maybank blowing the field away in lane five. Maybank starting to tie up a little bit. Derek Mills in the blue from the U.S. trying to get second. It'll be close, but Davis Kamoga of Uganda, the bronze medalist from Atlanta, gets second. Mills third. And Antoine Maybank, very close to a personal best, his best coming in 44-15. So a strong victory for Maybank here at the Zurich Weltklasse meet, Larry. The American team in the Olympics ran with a unique set of four guys who had never done it before. They ran the same team in the semis and the finals twice. This is the man that anchored that. He is now pouring around the turn. He handled the pressure of the semifinals and finals very, very well. Stayed real cool as the man to his left, Roger Black, gained on him during that last lap. At about this point in the race, he just left Black and pulled away. Ran 43.87 seconds on his anchor leg for the United States. Definitely a coming young star. He's the only man ever to get under 45 seconds and be also a 27-foot long jumper. What talent. Results of that men's 400 meters, Antoine Maybank, 44.18. And as Larry mentioned, he ran under 45 and jumped over 27 on the same day at Drake Relays a few years ago. Kamoga, the bronze medalist from the Olympics, second. And Derek Mills of the U.S. was third. And we'll be back with more of the Weltklasse from Zurich right after this.